What's up everybody? I got another Alienware M18 with a 700M gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna check out the first Senate again. Only this time we're gonna try a 1440p. Now 1080p was a complete stutter fest, but that might have been because the CPU was getting up to like 103 degrees Celsius, so I don't know. But I thought I put the cooling pad on properly, but a lot of people say this thing just needs a repaste. So that's probably true. But in any case, why don't we not waste any more time? We'll hop into the game, check out the settings we're gonna try. I'll try ray tracing again, but it didn't work out very well at 1080p, so I don't know why it would work good at 1440p. 40, but hey, stranger things have happened, and I just want to test it just so people know. But after that, we'll just do high settings and then get some camera recorded gameplay. So let's go get into the game, shall we? Now here we go with 1440p here. So let's just look over the settings real quick. We still get terrible frame times in this game, even at 1440, so that didn't change, unfortunately. Now our CPU is at 103, so it could just be it overheating, and that just might be what it does. But we got a cooling pad and it was still getting up to like 101, 102 without a cooling pad. So I think they just did a terrible pace job on the CPU. C G Ape or the, yeah, CPU. The GPU is sitting chilly right now. So we're going to try ray tracing first, just like we did on 1080p. And it just gives you the worst frame time ever when you do this. I mean, frame rate's not great either, but I, w I couldn't play like this. This is too, too stuttery, too slow FPS. I need close to 60 at least, bare minimum, for a game like this. On a system like this. Now, I could probably get away with the, like, 30, 40 FPS if the frame time wasn't absolute trash, but I wouldn't accept that on a system I spent this much on. No way. I would just tone some stuff down. And then after this, of course, we'll just turn ray tracing off and just do high like we did uh, on the Asus G15 Advantage. I think that's just what I did on that. I just went with a high preset. And I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. But it struggled a little at 1440, but we didn't even try ray tracing on that one. I figured that'd be a slideshow, like 10, 12, 15 FPS, something like that. So didn't think it was poor. Or there was a point. But all right, I think that's enough torture. So let's go and move on to some actual decent gameplay now. All right, well, now we're just going to try like 1440p without ray tracing. And we're still just going to do high instead of ultra. And I think even with this, it can't quite stay at 60, uh, even when we're not recording. If I'm remembering the correct system. And regardless, it stutters like mad, which makes it annoying. All right, here we go. Now we just have regular, just high settings, no ray tracing. And as you can tell, it still can't quite hit 60 all the time. But neither could the Asus G15 Advantage. And this one is still having really bad frame times. Those make the game borderline unplayable. But at least now I upgraded my gun so we can at least kill stuff a little quicker, so that's nice. Now he is. Here we go. Alright, let's take ourselves a little bit. I'll just have to pack a new one. Man, this frame time is atrocious. Now this time it's like the frame rate and the frame time making it not very enjoyable. 
Like, if it was just the frame rate, it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, I still wouldn't accept that on this kind of system. I'd probably just put every, like, I'd probably have to do what I did on the Asus. I'd probably have to put a couple things on medium, unfortunately. It just doesn't have the power. Either that or it's stuttering like mad because it's throttling like mad because that CPU, but... I swear other games have made it go like this and it hasn't stuttered like this. So, I don't know. Then I also I thought, what if it's because I turned the MUX switch off and disabled that integrated GPU? It shouldn't matter, but I was just thinking, what if that's what's causing all this stutter? It shouldn't matter, again, but I don't know. I just kind of thought I was having as I was playing. If I find another game doing this, I should try turning it back on and see if it still does it. And if it does, then we'll know. If it's exactly the same, it has nothing to do with it. If it stops, then somehow, some way, that thing has something to do with it. But it's probably the CPU just being insanely hot. But yeah, it's a shame. Every time I think I fix one part of this laptop, some other stuff starts happening. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, as much as I want to like this laptop, and it's got the potential to be a badass laptop, it's honestly been just like a royal pile of crap for me. It's a shame, too. It's like I said, 16 core processor with 32 threads. You could do some badass video editing on the go with something like that. And it's still got decent single core performance because it's a 7000 series. But holy shit, it gets hot. Though the desktop chip at like max load anyway will get up to 95. I don't think it would ever do that during a game. But if you like max load it, I think it's supposed to just target 95 or something like that. This guy, from what I was understood, it was supposed to just hang out at like 101. But I don't know. Maybe that's just too hot. Especially because we're only using like 22% of CPU. It's not like it's sitting there at full load, you know? And it does sit there at 100 degrees when I video edit on it. But the last drivers broke video editing, so I couldn't even do that. But I'd also like some new drivers to come out with that. Hopefully fix that. That would be neat. Alright, can I just use my... Oh, no, not from there anyway. Too far away. Well, what if I come over here? Then can I do it? Yes. Alright. Well. I can't take this terrible start anymore, so why don't we just move on to camera recorded gameplay so we can wrap this video game up. Alright, let's get some camera recorded gameplay now. Not a very pleasant experience on this guy.
90% 완료. 계승자, 마지막 데이터 전송 장치를 찾아볼게요. 잠깐, 이 위치는. <웃음> 계승자, 서두르는 게 좋겠어요. 데이터 전송이 끝나가요. Well, alright guys, that's a wrap for the first Descendant on the Anywhere M18, and yeah, didn't really do that great frame uh, time-wise. Frame rate seemed alright most of the time, but it still dropped down under 60 quite a few times, even with no ray tracing. So this, was, this must just be a really hard game to run, or maybe that same driver that's fucking over Fortnite is fucking over this game too. I'm not quite sure, but either way, that's completely unacceptable performance. Maybe it's also because the CPU is at 102 degrees, and it does that whether I have a cooling pad or not, which tells me I definitely need to send it into Alienware and have it repaste it. I do it myself, but I just don't trust myself doing that. I couldn't even handle taking a cooler off of my Asus G50 Advantage. It took like 100,000 tries just to get temps or performance back. Still didn't get temps back quite to where it was when I got it, but at least it got performance back. But I'm not about to take a inverted motherboard out to try to redo this shit. No way. I'd rather just send it to Alienware, and then if they fuck up anything, I can keep blaming them, and they have to fix it legally until I get a working system. So that's what I'd rather. Although I'd have no laptop there to make videos on, but I would just have enough videos, hopefully, before it, you know, is a problem. And by the time I get it back, I'll still be able to make videos and it shouldn't be an issue. And worst case scenario, just no videos on the Alien War for a little while. I think he would rather have that than it constantly stuttering and making it look like it's a pile of garbage, which right now in its current state kind of it is. And I fix one problem and then there's another, but it didn't used to do that in games. I wonder if that has anything to do with turning off the internal GPU. I don't think it should, but hey, maybe it does, but I don't think so. It shouldn't, but hey, who knows? Maybe I should test it out, go try the same game one way and then go turn it on. Because for me, it, having that on does nothing. I mean, I'm always on an external monitor, but I wanted to get some gameplay on the actual laptop screen too. So that's why I turned it off. And so far it seems to not black screen, but if it's gonna act like that because of it, that wouldn't be great. But black screen isn't great, so maybe there's just no good solution. Or maybe this laptop is just a royal piece of garbage. <laughs> it could be a multitude of things. Still, I wanna keep hoping it'll eventually work decent one day, but I think it's gonna have to go back to Dell. Anyway, this is turning into a long outro. Sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, Peace out, guys.